all the amazing culture. First, when we started coming on the planet, man, we come in here with this little um, uh, egg that's about the size of a dot on a page, right? And inside there's uh, a, a, a little compact you. You know, you're stuffed in there. Everything is in there. It's all common. It's really, it's deep. That's amazing when you think about it. How you see the little dot that fertilizes age and the little big person is in there. You know what I mean? And all these parts. I'm still always fascinated by embryology. And then after certain, first time, mom is feeding cells, ba boom, ba boom, that blood fast into and it's feeding that egg. And then there's a point when the, the, the little embryo say, hey, mommy, it's enough. You can cool out. You know, I can beat on my own now. And that ba boom, that boom, that ba boom goes on. If the duration of a heartbeat and the tempo of a heartbeat was like a metronome, uh, we would be in serious danger. So my, my, my thing is this here, why do we use a metronome? I tell people, throw a metronome away. If you want to use it for some mechanical use, you can use that there thing for, you know, that, that's machines again. But I said from a biological point, you should not entrain yourself into metronomic time. The proper way to do it now is to measure what they call the HRV, heart rate variability. And what they know that each duration, each heart cycle, ba boom, should on a graph look like a wave. It should be a wave. That means the duration is constantly changing like this, maybe a little long, maybe a little shorter. If it's very metronomic like they want us to do, to follow that exact time like this here, and it becomes to become more of a straight line or a slight curve, that's very much, that's dangerous. They realize then you're subject to a heart attack. Why did people go and get a heart examination and a doctor would take the stethoscope and as long as he heard He just heard the rhythm Now the frequency is different like That's how it sounds You see the low frequencies are so low a lot of times you don't hear it. you have to measure it You see so what I do when I listen to the heart sound I actually, I get to measure, I measure the frequencies. I want to see what is the, the pitch changes on each one. So you got to have the pitch changes. Big difference. You're going to have that tangible part and that untangible part. If it's mechanical, it's going to be the tangible part, how the, how the muscle's going to move. The intangible part is the electrical component. <laughs> the electrical component is how you react to your internal and external environment. And this is what they talk about heart rate variability. They want to see how your central nervous system, or the Chinese would say your yin and yang system, is responding. Because it makes adjustments. So you don't want to entrain somebody, you see. See, if you have an arrhythmia, the worst kind of arrhythmia you can have, because they used to say, well, I hear arrhythmia in this person and arrhythmia in that person. Why is it that, uh, how, how do you know what's the difference? If one is pathological or non-pathological? The pathological one is when it, it's too symmetrical. You can predict when that thing is going to happen. Mm -hmm. When it's asymmetrical, that means that it's going to the healing force. It's, in other words, you shouldn't have, you see, one of the famous ones, again, when you have a little his, uh, anxiety attack, an emotional attack, you may go like, <laughs> it'd be regular and emotional. Way, a simple way you test it, even without listening, if you count your pulse, sometimes you feel like you're going fast and slower. That means it's great. If that thing is constantly at the same tempo, that's trouble. You got to be very careful because your central nervous system, your sympathetic and parasympathetic system is not working in harmony with each other. One is taking over. It's too much sympathetic or too much parasympathetic. Okay? If you get too much sympathetic, you're up like this here. The other part, you know, if you yanked up like this here, the end part got to come and say, just relax, cool down, just cool down. You don't want to be, I can't cool down. Somebody's telling you, I can't cool down. I just can't cool down. Help me. And you don't want to be, I'm just out of it. I need some energy. Go get some energy. I just don't feel right. Uh, just, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, wow. Woo. Okay, now, 
And if you get a, yeah, I'm feeling great. And somebody say, well, you better cool out. Now you're feeling too great. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better now. Yeah, I'm glad I cooled down. And something all of a sudden strikes you again. And <laughs> you may see the wall coming down. Oh, uh, something crazy. Oh, I can't get out the way. I'm too cool. You got to go oh, get out the way like this here. So that's what it is. Your body is seeing something. You got to react. They didn't know that before. And people all of a sudden, two days later, have a massive heart attack. Well, they had a uh, heart checkup and everything was fine. Because they didn't realize. Not only listening to the rhythm changes, you got to listen to the pitch changes. Yeah. You got to listen to the pitch changes. Now, what do you want? You don't want too much dissonance or too much consonance. You understand? You got to have a little bit of, you got to have what they call, and this is, this is this thing here, you got to have a little bit of bittersweet stuff there, you know, a little bittersweet sauce. You got to put that in there. You got to have your bitters with a little bit of sweet going on, right? So that's the whole thing. <laughs>